General question for you. Fort Fest dot party. It's gonna be a party. What have you done from your position of power all these years to limit the number of civilian casualties? I've done a lot. I've protected this great nation. Can you name something specifically you've done to save civilian lives from bombing, collateral damage? Are you with Air Force Security? We're Air Force. Okay. All right. Thanks. Are you? Oh yeah. How you doing, Mead Worthen? Hi, dear. Really. Yeah. Hi, meet you. Dave. Very nice meeting you. Are you a viewer already or something? I'm a public affairs officer. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. So you were thanks talking for coming people out. About people. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, this is the uh, event. This is the uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm moving around here so I can have individual sun. awards yeah. ceremony for cadets who have uh, earned a. Uh, an award as a result of their outstanding performance, and there are a lot of different awards. Yeah. And we get to tell you which one is which. Right. So, so we can. No, I think it's going to take place in Pluto Arena. If you want to cover it, you can go in and sit where the parents are sitting. Well, thanks. In that general area and cover the awards there. All right. It's not very meaningful if you don't really know what's going on. Well, I have to tell you, I have to admit, I ask pretty hostile questions and everybody has been pretty accommodating to yeah. me. Well, you know, some camera blocking, a little bit of, you know, not wish you weren't here type stuff, well, but I, I appreciate the level of transparency I'm getting so far. Well, we're, we're yeah. Try to accommodate you as best we can. No, thanks. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, if you see anything in particular you want to see, have you been inside? <sighs> a little bit. Okay. Have you seen the facilities? Not much. Okay. Yeah. Well, you want to walk in there and take a look? Not necessarily. I don't need a tour of a building. Okay. Well, basically, what do you... I mean, if people can ask... You ask them a question, they can answer. Uh, yeah. Have you ever heard the term First Amendment audit? I certainly know about the First Amendment. We're the, we're the people who go to government facilities and we see how we get treated when we okay. exercise our First well, Amendment. I am certainly yeah. hoping you're going to be well treated here. So far, not <laughs> too bad, not too bad. <laughs> make sure that, well, this is true of all the media. We, yeah. we have a lot of media interaction and we try to facilitate the media as best we can to cover the story. All right. Yeah, that is, uh, that's, that's one of my jobs. I do have a question for you related, I guess it really is supposed to go just, just to the PR people. And that would be this. Um, I understand from reading in the Gazette, you guys are running a drone program that is autonomous, or is going to be autonomous. It's trained to draw dogfight. Uh, to what extent are you, I know this sounds like sci-fi, but to what extent are you guys building a real Skynet? Uh, I'm not real familiar with that. Okay, I do know that we do have what we call a remotely, a remote piloted aircraft program, airmanship program for cadets. And they learn the basics of learning how to operate RPAs. We call them RPAs. We don't call them drones. Remote piloted aircraft? Okay. And uh, <coughs> they start, they can start as a freshman and work their way up to senior. But that doesn't mean that just because they are taking the airmanship program that they are going to go into the RPA uh, career field when they graduate. Some of them will. Not all of them, but it just gets them familiar with the weapon system and the operations of the Air Force. Well, speaking of the RPAs themselves, the ones that are still piloted by people, I understand that your your kill ratio, you're killing eight civilians per terrorist, or at least the drone program overall is. Well, I can only speak for, about the Air Force Academy, okay? I cannot speak for... Well, you train the, the people Force. that are running these well, things, we, right? Well, we introduce them and give them an orientation, okay, into it. And so what we do is the, the, the uh, RPAs that we have are what they call ravens, 
and the Ravens are just like little marble airplanes. Okay, and it basically teaches them to fly, maybe do some surveillance, and that's about it. Okay. You haven't taught them anything in the way of like not killing people that don't need to be killed. <laughs> we don't. We don't approach it from that point of view. We approach it from the point of view of just getting them familiar with a, a basic, the basic RPA program, flying the RPA, operating the RPA, maybe doing some surveillance. Like for example, if someone's lost, if someone's lost, then <coughs> the RPAs can be used as a surveillance. Tool. But you guys have had. I flew a flight simulator here in 1983 as a as a civilian, right? You guys have had them forever. There's nothing you can do to make these people a little more accurate. Well, RPAs. We haven't had them since 1983. We've had them since 2009. Well, you've got simulators for RPAs have, though here, don't you? No, we don't have simulators for RPAs. We have an operations center for RPAs, but that's new. That's something that's been here for only a couple of years. So why why can't you at least train them on simulators, uh, RPA simulators? I'm not running the RPA program. I can't okay. Answer that question. All right. I can't expect you to know everything. I appreciate the answers I'm getting, but uh, all right. Okay. What was your name again? Mead. M E A D E. Is it Captain Mead or? Well, my first name Major? is Mead. M E A D E. Okay. And my last name is Worthen. W A R T H E N. I'm the Chief of Media Relations at the Air Force Academy, and that is part of the Public Affairs Office. Oh, okay. So, uh, do you have a rank or? No. Okay. I'm, uh, no, I'm a civilian. Okay, I see. All right. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, sure. My pleasure. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.